Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and guess what? We get to print something I've always wanted to print. In fact, I didn't even know it existed. We're gonna print a cold fusion machine right here, right now, today. Let's do this. Honey? Um, what? My whiteboard fell again. Be right there. Just a sec. Sorry about that. We're gonna have to put our cold fusion plans on hold because I've got another project that is mind blowing. Ready? We have to help hang this whiteboard without using any attachments on the back or putting any sort of screw or nail through the front. All right, let's get to printing, nerds. Oh wow, you're back. Um, this is Stone Double Bastard in a Stone Ruin 10 IPA glass. I have a glass cutter, and from bottles, I make cups. Pretty cool. Hey, let me know if you want to see how to do that. Just leave me a comment below. Drinks away, let's measure. So here's the whiteboard. It's about yay long, yay big. What we need to use is digital calipers to get some measurements. This whiteboard is roughly 11 and a half millimeters thick. This whiteboard, as long as we make this bigger, that's big and big and this right whiteboard is roughly 189 millimeters from top to bottom. So we have that, we have that. What else do we need? I think that's it, right? We'll call it good. Now that we have our measurements, we can begin to create what we need in OpenSCAD. As you've seen from my previous videos, OpenSCAD is a programmatic modeling application that allows you to create whatever you want using geometric shapes and adding and subtracting shapes from other shapes to make cool stuff. If you remember my GoPro rig videos, I used OpenSCAD to make all of that. This is simple. All we need to do is make two hanger mechanisms and the whiteboard will hang from the wall no problem. First, what we'll need to do is we'll need to create some sort of support back here that's going to extend a little bit beyond the top of the whiteboard because what we want to do is use, uh, we want to use picture hangers to attach it. So this back part that supports it is going to have to extend a little bit beyond the whiteboard and it'll need to have a hole in it to receive the picture hanger end. With the whiteboard sitting on it, it's going to need some sort of support base and it's going to need a riser here to keep it from sliding out. It's going to need a top piece and a lower part to keep it from sliding out. It's pretty wide. There's gonna need to be one here and there's gonna need to be one here and we don't want it to be too tight because we want it to be able to slide on and off easily. Looks like we built it. Let's check the printer. Printing didn't take too long and I've got our pieces right here. So as you can see, let's see if you can see that here, there's a, there's a hole in the top and that's where the picture hanger goes. There's a bracket up top here to keep it from falling out. And then there's a bracket here on the bottom to support it. And I've got two. Let's install it. Hey, look at that. More here. So here we go. We've got a whiteboard on custom built hangers that use common everyday hardware to attach it to the wall. And then it's easily removable so it's easier to write on. Hey, that was easy. Open SCAD projects aren't that hard. Plus you can make someone really happy with the cool designs you make. In this case, I made my wife very happy because we attached her whiteboard without putting any holes in it, and it was still, it was still attached to the wall in a, in a good way. 
Hey, thanks for watching. I'm glad we had this time together. Obviously, let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Cheers and high five.